Hello students, today you'll be learning rational and irrational numbers. Okay, let's take a look at the example one rational numbers. So let's see the definition. A rational number is a number that can be written in the form of a over b. So let's highlight a over b. Now if you notice, it's like a fraction. Basically, a number that can be seen like a fraction is actually a rational number okay so let's take a look at the six examples that i've prepared for you how to see rational numbers all right now the very first one is rational numbers are definitely fractions okay so it can be any fraction like one over two or you can have like five over seven or even 9 over 8, okay? It can be improper fractions as well. So all fractions can be expressed as a fraction. That's actually a term for rational number, how to see. Okay, now, the second pattern for rational number is actually all the integers. So integers, like last video, I've shared negative 3. Now, negative 3 is an integer. They can be expressed like a fraction. So negative 3 over 1, no? okay? So negative 3 over 1 is actually an uh, expression of a rational number, like a fraction a over b. Okay, so i give you one more example. For example, 1000. So 1000 can be expressed like over 1. So 1000 over 1 is what you call like a fraction. Okay, so that's rational number for you. Alright, now let's take a look at the third example, which is the mixed numbers. So all mixed numbers are actually rational numbers, okay? So now mixed numbers is like this. 1, 2 over 3. Now from, from the way they, they show themselves, uh, 1, 2 over 3 is like a fraction already. You can express them. Now I can also say that mixed numbers can be changed into improper fractions. So let's show you. For improper changing, uh, what you need to do is 1 times 3. And then you plus the 1 on top. So this is actually 5 over 3. Okay, see that? Mixed numbers, you can actually convert to the A over B form, which is the rational number form. So all the mixed numbers are actually rational number. Now let's take a look at the fourth example. All terminating decimals are rational numbers. Now what do I mean? So for example, 0 0.25. Okay, 0 0.25, we know that we can express this as actually 1 over 4. Right, so 1 over 4 is 0 0.25. You can check with a calculator. Okay, so all the terminating decimals are actually rational number. Now let's take a look at the fifth one. Right, so fifth one is what we call all recurring decimals. Real recurring means it's like repeating itself many, many, many numbers. Okay, now let's give you one example 0 0.33333 repeatedly, right? So this is actually represented with a fraction of 1 over 3. Alright, so all the recurring numbers like this can be represented with a fraction. One more time. Okay, so 0 0.6666, alright, can be expressed as a fraction of 2 over 3. Alright, so 2 over 3, you will see that it's getting 0 0.6666. So all the recurring numbers are actually the rational numbers as well, okay? Now, the last example to see rational numbers are actually the square roots that can be calculated exactly. So you have to highlight the keyword exactly, all right? So example, uh, square root uh, 25. Now, if you can have the calculator with you, right? Use the calculator and do square root 25, you will see that it is actually resulting in 5, an integer. And we know that integer can be represented 5 over 1. So you see, whenever we can express as a rational number form, which is A over B, then that's actually rational numbers. Now, give you one more example. Uh, it can be any square numbers like square root 100. So square root 100 is actually 10 and 10 can be expressed as 10 over 1. So any number that you can think of expressing as A over B, there's two number, one on top and one below, then that's actually called rational numbers, all right? So that is the example, the six kinds of examples to see rational numbers. All right, in example two, we'll be learning irrational numbers. Basically, it's the reverse of rational numbers. So take a look at the definition, all right? 
So numbers that cannot be expressed in the form of A over B. Basically, you cannot express them as a fraction, okay? So that's irrational numbers. Now, before you join the exercises or the examples, it would be great that if you have a calculator with you, okay? So I have two uh, scientific calculators with me, so you can choose either or any of the scientific models, okay? Now, let's try the example prepared for you. Okay, the very first one, let's type pi, and you're gonna press equal, okay? Now, notice that irrational numbers mostly have a lot of numbers, shown on the calculator screen and you really can't find a way to do a fraction expression okay so you will be seeing 3.14159 and the list of numbers goes on right so you can't really express as a fraction for it that's how you see irrational number now let's go towards the second example that i prepared for you square root seven okay so square root 7 key in in the calculator you should be looking at 2.645 and, and the list of number goes on so this is an example where you can't really express as a fraction and the key here is the calculator screen usually will be showing a long list of numbers okay now one last time cube root 2 all right cube root 2 now, once again, you'll be looking at 1.25992 and, and the list of number goes on. So, this one again is irrational number. Okay, so that's how you see it. Alright. Okay, now it's time for you to perform. Let's see how much you have understood for the lessons just now. Okay, so exercise, which of these numbers are actually rational? Basically, you try to find numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. Let's see. Alright, first one, A, 4 over 7. Day. This one already in fraction. So this is definitely a rational number, okay? So this is rational. Rational number, okay? Now, let's take a look at B, pi. So every time you have a number, just key in in the calculator to check. You'll be looking at 3.14 and a long list of numbers. That's actually telling you that it's irrational, okay? So this is actually irrational. Alright, now let's take a look at the next one, C. A lot of times, mixed number is very close to a fraction form. So this is actually rational again. Okay, so this is rational. Now, when you have a square root and a fraction inside, just use the calculator, all right? Square root, click on the bracket, five over eight. Now, let's wait for the calculator. I'm looking at a lot of numbers here, 0 0.79056, and this is not able to change into a fraction form, so this is irrational, all right? Let's to take a look at E, 0 0.003. Now, the number is a terminating decimal, so this is actually rational, okay? I can express that number using 3 divided by 1000, okay? So that's actually 0 0.003. Now, let's take a look at the next one, F, square root 0 0.04. So just use your calculator for it. And I'm looking at 0 0.2 as the answer. So that's definitely rational. Right? This gives me 0 0.2 and I know 0 0.2 is actually 2 over 10. Okay? Right. Now, last one. Cube root 8. So cube root 8. I'm looking at the screen of having answer of 2. And we know that is actually rational. So 2 is basically just 2 over 1. Okay? So I hope you learn from the exercises and I hope to see you in the next video, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and bye.